All right, welcome back everyone. This is Josiah again with Hybrid Audio. So we've set our input and output page on the, four, on the version four software. We've done the signal management. We've messed with our crossovers. We save and stored two presets. But let's say that two presets just aren't enough. We need more. So the director offers a extra 20 presets. It is a LCD display, touch screen controller. It's got a single knob on it for volume controls, uh, uh, main volume with subwoofer control as well as digital volume. Uh, if we're running a heck module, it'll control the volume of that. Um, it lets us switch between presets without having to hook up to the, uh, to the laptop every time. And it, it makes ease of control, uh, demoing different, different things uh, a bit easier. So uh, for instance, I have three presets. I've got my SQ tune for competition, I've got a street tune, and then I've got a bass tune. So that's three presets. And in order to switch between those, I either need to press the control button, uh, on the DSP, which would only allow me to have two presets, or I can have the director and I can use all three by switching back and forth on the director. So how do we activate the director? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to connect directly to our DSP. We're going to load up the software just like we are. We're going to have our main page. We're going to go up to device configuration menu. On here you're going to see remote control. You can run the URC, which keeps you still at two presets, or we can use the director, which I said before adds 20. So I'm going to click the director and come back to our main page. Now, a lot of the times what people forget is we can't just do that. Every time we make a change in the software that we want to keep, we need to save and store. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go to save and store under preset number one. And I'm not wanting to change anything. I don't want to make another file name. I'm just wanting to make sure that our controller stays enabled so I'm gonna save it right over top the of the previous name which will tell me it already exists we're gonna go ahead and click yes to replace it and now our director will work properly with the DSP and communicate with it uh, one other thing that we're wanting to do here is now that it's enabled on preset number one but we have two presets so in preset number one, it's enabled, but preset number two, it's not enabled on it. So we need to go and we need to save and store again or load preset number two. We'll go ahead and we'll save and store. We'll go to preset number two. We'll save it over preset number two. Go ahead and click save, it already exists, yes. And now we're gonna have the director enabled in both preset number one and preset number two. If you don't have the director enabled in one or one of the presets, then the director is going to malfunction. It's not going to work properly. It needs to be enabled in every preset. So what I like to do is I like to set a base tune, just like we did with preset number one here. We've got our crossover set all across the board. We haven't done any EQ for the RTA yet, so it's just a base tune. So I will set, I will save one or two presets that are uh, maybe close or exactly the same. Activate the director and then use that as my base. So from now on, every time I wanna uh, save a new preset when I've got the director controller uh, enabled, I will save and store and then just add it under a new preset with a new name. So we've saved it under both the presets that we, that we had, that we previously had. So this is what we need to do. We need to disconnect the USB from the Helix DSP Pro, the DSP, the V8, whatever we're using, we need to disconnect the USB from it after shutting, off, shutting down the software. Um, and once we do that, we're going to power up the director. We're going to plug in the 8-pin connector on the back side of the DSP. And then we're going to take the 90-degree USB and plug it into the director. It came in the box with the director. It's meant to when you pull off that, that back plate off the director, you plug it in, you put the back plate back on it, and neither the power cord nor that 90-degree USB need to ever be unplugged again. So let's do that real quick. Let's, let's go ahead and we're going to shut down our software here. We're gonna disconnect the USB from the, uh, from the uh, DSP, the V8 DSP. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in the director cable. I'm gonna run it over to our director here. We're gonna plug the 90 degree USB into uh, the USB slot on the director after I've pulled that end plate off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect it into our computer. It should make a chime. Alrighty. And then we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna wait here just a second. My director says that it's connecting and that we are now connected. It'll have a map, it'll bring you right up to the master volume page and should have the volume roll all the way up. We're gonna go ahead and restart our software. 
And the way to know that this is working properly is when we get onto our software here, it'll say connect. So we are working properly. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press connect here. We're gonna load into preset number one. All right, and we'll expand this to the full page. And I'll show you the big difference here. So whenever I go to save and store now, if for some reason, you know, I've got my, my mids here and I've done a bunch of work to it and I want this to be a completely different tune, I'm gonna go up here to save and store and voila, just like that, we have all of our new presets down here that are adding from the director. You will not see these unless you have the director hooked up. So in order to save and store on the director, we are going to click once on uh, the preset that we wanna save it on. So I'm gonna save it under preset number three. I'm gonna go ahead and click save here. I'm gonna save it under, you know, let's say director preset three. Go ahead and click save and it'll load it onto the onto the director and now we've got three presets into the into the dsp in the director so let's say i want to save a fourth we're going to do the same exact thing you know i've changed it i've kept my base tune so if i come over here to dcm my director is still enabled and you'll see that since that since we are using our preset number one base tune but i've changed some things and i'm going to come over here and save and store I'm going to save it under my preset number four. And now I've got four presets loaded into the software. So I'm going down the road. Um, you know, I, I, I want to go ahead and I want to switch my, switch my uh, preset via the director. I can go ahead and do that. But we want to make sure that before uh, the director is working properly, that we come out of here, we got to exit out of the software. We're going to disconnect our USB. And now if you go to sound setups on your director, if you roll it over to, let's say, director preset number four, go ahead, it'll be blinking at you. Go ahead and click the button on the knob once. You'll see a loading bar come across. And preset number four is now loaded. And uh, what it'll do is if you count to 10, that is when the new preset's taken over. So as soon as you click that button, you count to 10, you'll hear your music dim down just a little bit. It'll pop right back up and your new preset will be loaded and running inside of the vehicle. So, uh, like I said before, make sure that you're only going through the director when, we're, when we have the director plugged in via the USB. Uh, that'll be for all of your tuning and, and um, updating from now on of the director. If you ever need to update the DSP directly, I suggest unplugging the 8-pin cable from the DSP and plug the USB back into the DSP. Update the DSP separate from the director uh, it, you can do it through the director, but just to make everything simplified and easier, we disconnect the 8-pin cable, plug the USB back into the DSP, update the DSP completely separate from the director. It works every time. If you've got any questions, you can always give us a shout here at 770-888-8200 over here at Hybrid Audio Technologies. I hope you guys learned something. If you've got any questions, post them below or uh, give us a shout. Thank you. You have a great day.